going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Love Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and this is Tam. Hey. And today we are on Supergirl Season 6, Episode 10. Still I Rise. Yep, so this is like, what, the halfway point? This is like the middle episode of the season, so 10 more episodes after this. Because uh, I believe this season only got 20, so halfway through the final season. How you feeling? Um, all right. Yeah, it's bittersweet. I like this show. I like the characters. Um, yeah. But let's see what they got for us. Uh, last episode, Mixie tricked Dreamer into helping Center. her. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I helped Mixie do something dumb. She probably is. She wants to get cars, so. And she wants her powers back, so we'll see how Nia can help her get to that goal. Um, Kelly decided she's going to become Guardian. Alex is all for it. She even gave her the helmet. Um, so we're going to see. I think this is a big Kelly Olsen episode. I believe she was saying on her Twitter that this was a big episode. Um, so, yeah, we, I'm all for it. I like Guardian. I like Kelly as a character. So much better than James. Right. So uh, let's see what they got for us this episode. So full and early reactions are available on Patreon. If you into that kind of thing. And we gonna get started. An evil man took my powers and banished me from the Phantom Zone. I couldn't cross the barrier into your real world and I got trapped. If you get me Same out of this dreamland, I will have enough power to bring my mother back to life. Amen. I'm free. Get off her couch, but she was done. Now give her her mom back for 24 hours. And I brought you out of the dream world. Just like I promised. So where oh, relax now, Torian. I haven't forgotten our deal. You will have your mother back for one day, as promised, but this will sap the last of my power. Let's get it over with, so I can be about my business. So she's cool with- What business? Her power's being gone? Said we're going straight home. Oh, <sighs> nearly forgot. There is one more stipulation. As long as mummy is here, you'll be trapped inside a magical realm and no messages can come in or go out. No. So she can't walk her Wait. Oh. Yes, I mean. Felix, where's my mother? Magic and wishes come with the choice. Thank you would suffice. Wait. Uh -huh. yeah. She can. Oh. oh. I thought she was her mother. Right. I was trying to be like, which... So she could see her mother, <laughs> right. and she is her mother. Oh, I would have been pissed. <laughs> right? Well, you ordered something off a wish. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go for her. <laughs> she brought you back to me. I need you, Mom. You left so suddenly. She didn't have sleep for I don't hours. have any training. I never left you, Nia. I was with you always. You just haven't heeded my signs. To the owl. Why did you send my owl away? That was you. Sure, see, this is my problem. I have been trying so hard to be a hero and to make you proud, but I just, I can't interpret my powers. I'm guessing blindly. I knew it was wrong to let Mixley out, but I just, I figured that once we were together, if she caused a problem, we could fix it. And we will, right? Sweetheart, you've unleashed a force of hell on Earth. And we have to stop her. You can't do that in here in the dream. You can't go in or out. No. No. There has to be some way out of here. Not today. You made the bargain, Nia. You called me back. Let's get to work. Hi. Hello. Where are your, your friendly, friendly neighborhood, neighborhood super friends? Want to know how us superheroes stay strong and sharp? We eat our greens. You see, kids, you can kind of cringy commercial my strength this? to fight crime. Right. It's so awkward. But right. Now, I have 86 percent more energy than I used to <laughs> right, because this is so weird. I eat my greens. And you would know all about being green, wouldn't you, bring it <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is even worse than I thought. I cannot believe I let you talk me into doing that. Nonsense. The PSA is pitch perfect. 
I mean, sure, your hair looks a little weird, but we're not going <laughs> to notice that. Oh. Brad, I'm sorry, but wait, I cannot let this go live. Yeah, no. Kepco posted it 20 minutes ago. <gasps> what? You you sent it to Andrea without asking me? I asked you, didn't I? No, no. no. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We can have Andrea pull it before too many people see it. It's too late. Garnered 800,000 views. 800. And it's been copied right. and posted we elsewhere. Spotlight an issue that the populace really listens. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. She always slamming somebody. Your turn. Get me on the ground. <laughs> yeah, get me on the ground. Those are on the ground again. Get me on the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm too busy on the ground. Yeah, right? <laughs> Come on. You got this. Yes. One out of a hundred. How did you do that? Doesn't matter. It's not the move you showed me. Yeah, but it worked better anyway. Let's go again, okay? <laughs> Alex made me train blindfolded under the kryptonite carriage. And if that wasn't bad enough, then she made me study the tapes. Oh, it's work. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Is everything okay? That was Joey's group home. Apparently, he just got some news from Orlando. The apartment fell through. What? I thought they were supposed to move in next month. What happened? I don't know, but I need to be there for Joey. Can you get the text message? I promised him I'd have his back. I made the same promise to Orlando. I better find him. One, two, three. Same old story. As soon as things start to get better, the world just knocks you right back down. It's part of the program that offered affordable housing for people like me. People who were recently incarcerated, but now some tech company is buying it instead, so back to crashing on the friend's couch. Same friend that landed me in prison in the first place. I'm sorry. It's so horrible. That's Can usually how it goes, apartment, though. Or? Wish it was that simple. I can't get a decent job until I have a place to live, and I can't get Joey out of that group home until I have both. I was really counting on that housing program. A lot of people were in city council just took it away without a thought. That's kind of what out of cars. Well, super girl, but... I told you I'd have your back. And I meant it. It's definitely good something now, but I don't know why. It's a tough situation. Bingo. Well, wasn't that the two in the picture? This is somebody else. There she is. No. My main attraction. Are you sure? I don't really Nothing else of here. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I have no powers. I was stripped of them and banished here to walk the earth in the immortal. Pathetic, really. I mean, who wants to see a powerless imp? Sure you'll find the exit? Is there anyone? You know, I might not be a worthy headliner in my current state, but perhaps I can help you get someone better. Someone like Supergirl? You just need a little help constructing said trap. An expert engineer or a... Well, I could capture an engineer. Oh. Brainiac. Wait, why are you doing this for me? You were just very kind to me when you didn't need to be. He kidnapped this you. This is my way of saying right. thank you. Wasn't very kind, but okay. So do we have a deal? thank you when he... Okay. Because she wants to use him, but I'm just saying. Oh, right. Okay. Just didn't, me as a normal human being, I don't sound right. Shall we? But he's a weirdo that kidnaps people, so. I don't expect him to figure that out. City Council is voting on the Orkoya deal tomorrow morning, and Supergirl wants to change their minds. That might be a tall order. Supergirl thinks that an interview from her and a few educational articles from us could get people in the Heights to see the benefits of affordable housing and convince city council to restore the Ornfeld building to its original status. 10 out of 10 for enthusiasm, dear Clara. But as for entertainment value, the strategy of DOA... Come on, go Look, find I something better to do. ...on Supergirl's cause. The vote's tomorrow. If she wants to sway the council's opinion, she needs the public engrossed and engaged like yesterday. A few statistics and a colorful pie chart might not get the blood pumping. I've got three words for you. Social media takeover. 
Supergirl can use Tapco's account to do a Q&A. We'll stream it live on the website. Let our readers chime in with yeah. questions and comments. The day before time. it, too. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's her style. Oh, dare I remind Supergirl that we are living like in a technological that. age. Where hashtags are battle cries. Like she only like been on camera like her and Bernie did. But I think I kind of agree with Andrea's idea. That she was going to come over on that smart in a millisecond. I mean, she got to do something quick. I mean, I, if she had more time, she could deny this opportunity. But... Okay. Why did she get that dress on here? This there is her dream go. dress. <laughs> get it? <laughs> okay, Pun Jordan, what does it mean? <laughs> you can't run every time something doesn't go your way, Mia. You have to fight the impulse to run, Mia. You must never exit a dream out of fear. I'm not afraid. I just, I just saw enough of the dream to decode Nixie's plan. The beacons are just a distraction. There are no distractions in the dream realm. Everything has meaning. What do the ravens mean? But I don't know. You do. Quiet the voices in your mind. Quiet the fear. Ravens mean misfortune. Wisdom. Connect to the interplay between your deepest self. It's not a dollhouse. This dream. I've been here before. Mia? Me. Her sister. Okay. Hey, sorry, I'm going to have a good place to set up. Oh, thank you for helping with this. Ready? Well, I guess. Okay, we have our first question. Hello, your life's about Procle. Oh, yeah. Supergirl, your perspective about the Orm Bell surprises me. I live in the Heights, and Orfoil will bring improvements to my neighborhood's needs. How is that a bad thing? That is a very good question, sir, and you're right. The deal would bring new improvements to the Heights, but it would come at a human cost. Next question. I don't think that really answered the question. Right. Supergirl, you're always going on TV telling people like me to have hope that things will get better. And now that they finally are, you want us to give all that up? You're a hypocrite. Oh. Um. Help me! Someone's in trouble. Sorry, I I have to go. Let him go. Wait, don't I know you? Interesting story. I don't remember that guy. <laughs> I swear I'm I don't. I searched every corner of the city and I still can't find him. Thanks to image inducers, Mitch is looking less blue these days. I used to run a cosmic menagerie. Right. He tried to kidnap me in high school, make me part of his sideshow. You guys keep looking for Mitch and Dr. Rob. Let me know if you find anything. What's that in your hand? Geronimo? I don't know. That's you. Can I have it? Could you please? Now. If you can let all of you. consider voting no on the Okoya deal. Why in high heavens would I do that? Reverting the Ormfell back to its original purpose could give the recently unincarcerated people living there a support they need to get their lives back on track. Housing projects like this also benefit the community by reducing eviction rates. That's exactly what I'm trying to do with Okoya. Improve the community and the lives of everyone that lives there. A deal like this could inject the Heights with new money, growth, opportunity. That's exactly what affordable housing can do. 
instead of investing in a corporation, you'd be investing in the people to create that change. Do you know how many people are Koya employed? They add billions to the GDP each year. A business of this magnitude would increase property values in the Heights, bring better schools to the area, improve infrastructure. You're talking about gentrification, which prices out everyone who currently lives in the Heights. Mm -hmm. I am talking about progress. I've spent years putting this deal together, and when it closes, it will be the largest community investment in the history of National City. You want me to sacrifice all that so a bunch of criminals can have a roof over their heads? Stick to leafy green soup, girl. Leave the politicking to me. <laughs> but that's really how some people think. They don't care about criminals or the poor. They only care about what's bringing them money. That's really it. Yeah. I thought this was supposed to be a Kelly episode. Okay. Rankin doesn't care about anything but her own ambition. I even talked to two other city council members to try to get them to see my way, but it was it was useless. <laughs> hey, I, I know you're frustrated about your training, but don't you think you're being a little hard on yourself? Right, it's all about you, one day. Mia, Rainy, Jean. You have talents. Alex has her gauntlet and her combat skills. How am I going to fight beside all of you when I can't even master one move? What are you talking about? I saw you take down Alex. That was awesome. Yeah, but I couldn't get the move she was showing me. Who cares? The way you used her momentum against her was efficient and brilliant. You just have to shift your perspective so that you see how capable we already know you are. Um, when you talk down a bad guy, you don't rattle off facts and figures. You share your personal experiences. And that's what inspires people to do the right thing. Yeah, she got to have Orlando right. speak. And Joey. My voice is not the one that's important right now. Maybe I step aside and use my platform to amplify others' voices. Now that will resonate with people. What should I do? This is not about dooming Mia. Just like your dreams, the Ravens, your sister. You cannot run away from this. You must have the courage to sit with the pain, to take in the gravity of what you've done. Our time is almost up. Oh, I still need you. What about Nixley? How am I supposed to stop her? The times ahead will be the most trying yet, but you can face them. You don't sit have to do with it alone. Discomfort, just as you have sat with your grief today. And if you couldn't tell from your little social media stunt, they don't want to hear from you. You're right. They don't need to hear from me anymore. But you should hear from the people you're planning to displace. People like me. My name is Orlando Davis. I spent the last two years at Bangkok Prison and was one of the people counting on housing in the Ornfeld. I've lived in National City my entire life with my little brother, Joey. We lost our parents when I was 14. I quit school to take care of my brother. But there isn't a big market out there for dropouts, so the bills piled up. I made a stupid mistake, and I've been paying the price ever since. But I'm not the only one who's paid it. See, I remember what it felt like to go to bed at night with my family nearby, to feel safe, to feel loved. But Joey doesn't. He's been in and out of the system his entire life. And I am so scared that he's going to make the same mistakes that I have. And I can't even be there to help him. Because what he needs is a home. And he is not the only one. So I'm here today to ask you one thing. See us. All the people hoping to live in this building. When you're deciding whether to vote for this deal, you're voting on our lives, on our families, on my chance to give my brother some hope. So please, see us. I mean, hell, that was a hell of a speech. It moved me. But this actually happens in real life, but I don't know that it actually works as far as like convincing them to not go through with gentrification. Like some torques ship just to put on our radar. It's go time. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 
to hurry. Hello, help me. Oh, John don't know about her. Don't worry, you're safe now. None of us are safe. We need to get everyone out of here now. Come on, of course it's at the deal. Come on, no. Things are going well. It's a freeze bomb. If its core gets to minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, a chain reaction will occur, instantly freezing anything within a one mile radius. The chain reaction is triggered, it could trap even you. Greatest lie, Alex. He's gonna save the council from when change her mind. Is too cold. There's a fire escape on the other side of the building. Oh, they can't even use this one. I'm dead. <laughs> it's okay, this one, come on. I have to destroy the bomb. This whole place could explode. It'll explode if I do nothing. <laughs> Brady, call your ship. This is as far as we can go. Okay. I know I was pushing hard to get into this building, but man, why wouldn't get for a ride out? this for a ride out. No touch my chair! Or anything. I say it's back in time. Hey, he hit John? She hit John. After much deliberation, the council has decided to rezone the Ormfell for affordable housing effective immediately. You did this. We should happen that easy in real life, but Joey's not gonna believe it. It was a good story. And I'm sure maybe it the has happened won. once or twice, but no, very rarely, I'm sure. You did the right thing. Thank you. That little speech may have swayed the rest of the council, but not me. Now the heights will be left to the criminals. How can I be? The formerly incarcerated are members of the community too. And your council agrees. They deserve a second chance. She detected to go home, not let her daughter have anything super girl, not support her, not love her anymore. All Rankin may literally be the worst person ever. How Alex would do after me, Jacob? Five seconds. I think her suit can do it for her. Oops. I can make anything, right? Well, I was thinking about Mitch, actually. How he went back to a life of crime after all these years. People like him slip through the cracks every day because the system isn't designed to help them. Don't get me wrong, I am so happy Orlando won this one today, but I can't help but think that's all this is. It's for me. The fight for systemic change often feels never ending. All we can do is keep showing up, keep sharing our platform. I can't promise you it'll ever get easier, but I can promise this. I will be beside you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt. Thanks, Miss. You picked up an energy signature coming from the Wormfell. That's strange. The energy from the cryo nuke should have dissipated by now. It could be residual from the heat vision. I'll check it out on my way home. Uh, seems like a trap. Is this how she gets her powers back? Well, boy. Uh-oh. Here comes the showdown. Nixley? Miss me? Chip a note when you left me to die in the Phantom Zone. 
but I wanted to thank you. You she said, when I got to power. Earth, my powers were nil. My heat vision didn't destroy your weapon, it powered it. I gave you your powers back. Mm -hmm. You said, no, Martian Manhunter, I need backup now. <gasps> uh oh. Jamming. All alone. <sighs> Utterly powerless. I felt that. Dreamers coming. Time and time again. Yeah. All those years in the Phantom Zone, there was only one thought that kept me going. Do you want to know what it was? No, I really don't. That one day, I would go back to my home, to my father, and I would kill him. I would stick him with a spit and roast him like the pig that he is. He betrayed me. And so did you. You keep them that stab car. We were partners. Friends, and yet Barely. you destroyed my last hope right before my very eyes. You, you were acting dumb. Right. But as I struggled to keep myself alive, a new thought kept me going. That one day, you would know the pain that I felt. You would watch as your greatest hope crumbled before your very eyes. She ain't about to kill all these people in this building. Unlike what is she you, about to do? I'm a woman of my word. That's because we're not moving to that far. So. Now there's already people living there. Let's get on with it, shall we? No, no. She can't do anything, yep. No, no. Yeah. Struggle all you want, Supergirl. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> You're bound by magic now. And only magic Her weakness. magic. Krypton Kryptonians are weak to magic. Oh! She's seven. <laughs> Maxi Pedlix. Mr. Mr. Because isn't he obsessed with her? Yeah. Okay. Well, she shouldn't have did that. She shouldn't have told her how to uh, counter magic with magic. She ain't dumb. She was gonna think of something. I thought Dreamer might have shown up. Dreamer's looking for her. Okay. Well, it's getting interesting now. Black twist at the end. Mm, Mixy Pitalix. Nice, yeah. What I thought you said? No, Mixy Pitalix. Mixy. Mixy. She no. said Mr. at the beginning. I read the Mi Yeah, Mr. Mixy Pitalix. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not Mr. calling him Mr. His name is Mixy Pitalix. That's how I met him. That's all I'm gonna call him. I don't care if she put a Mr. I'm gotta call him that. No, that's how you summon him now. Oh, by saying that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Mixie and Mixley, Dixie and Trixie. I don't give a damn what they <laughs> Fritzy, name. Dixie, Dixie. Um, no, nah, but I'm ready. I'm ready to see. But this was a powerful story because I learned a lot about, um, the, you know, because I have a minor in social justice. So we kind of dealt with a lot of the issues that um, they talked about in this episode, you know, and about how the system is kind of against the incarcerated and the poor and there are people who fight for causes like this but rarely are they successful you know what gentrification is right did you get the little explanation they had or no um business no gentrification is kind of like a business deal yes where they take an area that's poor and they offer to remodel it now say we live there we're used to our income it's say our rent is four hundred dollars um, and you know, we don't pay much in bills. We have enough. We're, we're, you know, comfortable. We have extra money in our pocket. So this company comes in, buys the block or whatever, or the building we're living in say, and they offer to remodel it. So they pay for us to go out and go on a vacation or do whatever. And they'll fix up our apartments, all new, everything, the whole building completely brand new with all new stuff. Now to get their money back, they're going to raise the cost of living in that building. So they'll give you like a maybe a few months notice and it'll be like say it goes from four hundred to a thousand. So now I That's a big jump. Yeah. So now I can't afford to live there anymore and there's nothing I can do about it. It's Cause this is the price they want people to pay and it's their building, they own it, and you have to renew your lease every year. So basically you re sign your contract for um how much you're gonna pay and stuff, and so they can't do anything about that. If they can't afford it, they gotta go. So that's what they do, and they push people, these poor people out to get the richer people in who have the money. And that's called gentrification. So they but they'll generally do that to in like an entire block of buildings, like housing buildings and stuff like that, or whatever. 
and they'll push out the poor people and then now these people are struggling like Orlando looking for a home and you don't get much time so yeah and then generally if you can't find enough time they're not gonna leave right you get an eviction notice now that's on your record and makes it even harder for you to you know get a place so it really hurts people um, and that's the issue they were trying to point out and then for it was even harder for someone who's incarcerated because you know when you fill out an application for one of these buildings, you got to be honest. They ask you about this stuff. They do background checks um, and things like that. And it's hard for people who, you know, get out of jail and, you know, have records and, you know, need to get a job, a well-paying job. Um, because if the person, like the manager or whatever, feels like they can't trust you or, you know, they're biased against, you know, criminals or something, they don't have to hire you. And you, even though you're supposed to remain impartial and stuff, people, you can't control what somebody's gonna do. So it it really hurts that community um, and they struggle. Um, you, you know, they're poor, so it's not like they can even go to school or, you know, some colleges won't accept you if you have like a felony or something, or, you know, it just depends on the severity of your crime. Some things you can get removed, but that takes time, money, and. It's really just a system that's designed to help people fail. And that's what it was intent to do. Um, and of course, you know, it, there are a small number of people in the world who are actually trying to fix this. And they're sometimes they're successful and a lot of times they are not. And like, they don't even get paid much. So, and then you gotta get, it's not even just about that. Yeah, their job is to help these people try to find housing and stuff like that. But it comes down to votes and stuff and people you know, getting pe regular people like us to go to our city leaders and vote and vote on them and get them to understand our issues and that we want to help. So it really takes everybody to do it. Now, it's not even something that we I actively do. Like, I don't really look into, like, um, you know, help going to my city leaders and seeing what issues they're voting on. I've never been much of a voter, but um, it's definitely something, you know, worth getting into. But a lot of people don't. They, a lot of people rather turn a blind eye because it's not something that interests them or, you know, um, like th there are, were people who did want to move into that neighborhood and wanted their neighborhood to be better. And they didn't want their people who, you know, are against criminals moving in. And it's it's a whole big issue. And like Subaru said, yeah, I was successful today, this, but this could just be a one off. How am I supposed to do this, change the world? And you just... There's not really a solution to it. You just got to keep fighting and trying. Um, but yeah, that's the spiff of it all. It's a lot. And but it was a powerful story. I liked it. And I like that they, you know, built on the story and didn't rush it. You know, they've gradually built it around Joey and um, his older brother, Orlando. So good story. Um Hopefully it resonates with some people. Y'all go out there and, you know, help people and vote and pressure your city leaders. All it takes is writing a simple email, you know, and telling, you know, this is what we want. We want to help people. We want to support you, you know, voting and helping other people. And, you know, just do your part to help people like this because their lives do matter too. And um, some people really do want a second chance. People make mistakes, you know. When you're desperate and you're hungry, some people will do anything and they do make you know, mistakes and commit crimes, but that doesn't mean they're beyond redemption. So, yeah, that's my little speech and spiel for helping people. Um, but I'm, anyway, back to Supergirl. You know, Supergirl, Supergirl. Um, I'm really excited to get into to the her versus Nixley and now Dreamer's involved, so I'm ready to see all that. Because um, these imps, they're powerful. Magic is one of the, you know, a weakness, and I'm glad we're exploring Kara's other weakness, which is magic, and not just, you know, Kryptonite. kryptonite. So I'm glad we're exploring the other aspect of that something different before it goes off. Um, but yeah, I really, I thought this was going to be more focused on Kelly, but it really wasn't. Um, but I'm sure we'll see her suit up soon. Um, Dreamer got her wish. She got to see her mom and got her mentoring that she wanted it came out of cost that i'm sure she'll feel bad about but she didn't need the training and now that it's done she'll never have to go through it again and she will she will what train no i'm saying she needed that training that her mom gave her like she kept running from her oh, dreams i thought you were talking about i don't know her name is Kelly. Kelly. 
Nixie? No. Kelly? Yeah, Kelly. No, I'm talking about Dreamer now. Um, but yeah, she, um, she, she got it now. She, I think she's done running from her dreams and she's realizing everything has meaning. She, um, she just had to get her confidence up and I think her mom really helped do that. Um, and hopefully she'll probably repair things with her sister too. So we got a couple of stories we need to wrap up. I don't know when Lena's coming back. Um, but it's the last season and we want to see as much Lena as possible. I really enjoy her character. So hopefully she comes back soon. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I guess, I don't know what the next episode's about. So I'm sure it'll be a battle of the imps for a little bit and mm -hmm. probably just talking about how we're going to take her down and she'll probably do something else evil. Who knows? But, uh, be sure to let us know what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And we will see you guys for the next one. Bye.